MMAfighting.com in London, England for Bellator 200. This is the preview show and I'm joined by Bellator featherweight James Gallagher to break down the card. How you doing, James? What's happening, Easy? You know, you were actually meant to be on this card. A lot of, well, you wanted it, you were kind yeah. of saying on the MMA hour. What happened yeah. there? Was that close at all? No, it, it wasn't. There was always like a little bit, but it was never, nothing was ever like coming close to getting finalized or anything, but they should have put me on it. It would have been a bigger show. Do you know what I mean? There was a few polish during the week and all that could have been. I could have been in there, do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I've been working towards other things now, and I'll get my time at the end of the year. You know, it was it was a knee injury, obviously. Is it is it nearly a good thing that you can kind of have a bit of distance, get, make sure it's fully healed? Because yeah. I was even hearing from guys in your camp that, like, you know, everybody's trying to calm you down, but you were trying to get in as quickly as possible. Yeah, and then it took me a couple of months, and then I listened. Do you know what I mean? I didn't listen at the start, and I was rushing and rushing, and then I keep going back, getting set back. But then I listened, now I just took time, just trained, built my body back in, did. I got fit and strong again, and I feel now that I'm ready to start going hard again. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm ready to put in the camp, and I'm ready to get the hard rounds in, I'm ready to get a hard fight, and I want that. Do you know what I mean? The next one I went in, I want to, I want to scrap. Do you know what I mean? I need that. I want to, I want to, I want to go in there, I want to get banged up, and I want to feel that, because I haven't felt that before. Do you know what I mean? I want, I want to scrap, I want somebody to bring it to me, and... Yeah, I just love fighting, do you know what I mean? I just love a fight and that's the way I want to be and that's, I just want to get in there. I don't care who it is, just get me in there. Speaking of fights, we have some big ones this weekend. Yeah. Now, but obviously there was a casualty earlier in the week with Mirko Krokop and Roy Nelson. That was meant to be the main event. Gegard Mousasi and Rafael Carvalho was now the main event, the championship fight. How do you feel about that? Is that a big loss? I mean, when you think about no. hardcore MMA fans from the past, maybe that would be interesting. But do you think it's a big loss of the card? No, no. It is and it isn't, you know what I mean? I don't feel like that the the main event now is like that's that's going to be an unbelievable gay guard gay guard Masasi is an animal. Do you know what I mean? I've been watching him a lot when he was in the UFC and now he's come over to Bellator and stuff and he's a fit, good all rounder. Do you know what I mean? He's strong, he can clip you, he can pitch you out, he can he can do it all. So and then the champ who's He's not very known. He's not out there in the public eye. No one really knows him as much. But he's four, had, four title defense though. Yeah, and he's a dark horse. He's going to. He he's one of these guys who, no one knows who he is. But when he shows up and fights, he's a beast. You know what I mean? So that's a 50-50 fight. What do you think of the fact that when a UFC guy comes over to Bellator, they're automatically, you know, they they think he's going to win the title, and then if he doesn't come in and steamroll everybody, he gets such criticism. We even saw it in, in Gegard's debut, and people were disappointed despite him getting his hand. Race. We've seen it with guys like Lorenz Lark, and it seems to be an enormous amount of pressure put on UFC guys. Why do you yeah. think that is? Um, I, I don't really know because high level MMA is high level MMA. No matter if I fight you in this room or I fight you there or I fight you here, it's high easy level. now. Easy. <laughs> high level MMA is high level MMA, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't matter where you come from, wherever. Do you know what I mean? You're no like you. Are, obviously, there's better fighters in different places and. But that's just up to the fighter individually. But there's people there who are not as good as people here, and there's people here who's not as good as people there. And it's just high-level MMA. It's high-level MMA. Two people make good fights. It's not where you come from or whatever. But I seem to think as well a lot of UFC fighters come over and they think I'm better than these guys. Do you know what I mean? And then it's, they, it's kind of making the people more aware that Bellator are at a very high standard yeah, on the same level, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. There's some, there's some animals and Bellator, and then there's some people who are not good, there's some animals in UFC, and then there's some people that are not good. It's just, there's good and bad people everywhere, and there's better than others everywhere, and it's just two peop two good people make a good fight. Do you know what I mean? So I don't like that attitude coming in and thinking, ah, oh, do you know what I mean? This is easy, because it's not. It's We both get in there, we both do the exact same thing, and it's not, like, it's no different. You know, we're going to ask you to pick here. If you had to pick a winner in this, you know, you've got a big a knockout artist in Carvalho against Masasi, an all-rounder, as you said, a legend of the game. He started very young, just like yourself. But personally, I think I'm going to go with Masasi in this. So maybe it's maybe it's just the fact that I'm not um, as aware of Carvalho and I've seen yeah. a lot of them. But who would you go for in this one? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I could see, I could see it going Carvalho's way at the start. I can see him getting his way at the start a little, and then I can see Gay Gar finishing him in the later rounds. I think he he'll catch like a submission or he'll he'll pull out of the book in the later rounds. But it's an excitement. It's a hard one to call. Really good. This point. is a hard one to call. It's a hard one to predict, and it's just one of them ones you can. There's so many ways that it can go. Do you know what I mean? And you just have to wait until tomorrow night and see which way it does go. But I, I think I think. Uh, 
Gay Guard will pull it off in the later rounds. There's a lot riding on this as well when you consider Rory MacDonald is looming in the background. You know, Scott Coker has told us that there's a big announcement. I wonder what that is. There's a big announcement coming after this fight. Do you think, you know, Gay Guard obviously wants to fight, Rory wants to fight. Do you think Rafael has an opportunity to steal that? Like, say he comes in here and he makes a massive yeah, statement. 100%. Do you know what I mean? He comes in here and pits him away in the first round, clips him, KOs him in the first round. Then, of course, he's he's the man then. Do you know what I mean? He, you, you fight an awful lot of guys who try to make a name off. Like, they're yeah, coming in to try yeah, and use your momentum, yeah, steal it from you. Yeah. What does that... Do you think that makes an opponent more dangerous when, when they think they have even more to gain from the win than, than the other person? Yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes it can... Well, that's just down to the individual. If he's got the fire in his heart and he wants this bad enough, do you know what I mean? But that's just people work off me to get fame, but other people want it to just win, other people have different drives, do you know what I mean? But <clears throat> I think uh, Carvalho's going to make a name for himself. He doesn't need anyone, do you know what I mean? He just needs to keep performing and keep going. He's, a, he's an absolute beast. So he is. So I think a few more of these uh, show stealer performances and uh, people will know his name, especially now this is a big different market for him to show his uh, skills. It's not like the shows he's fought in. I think it's his first time in the UK fighting, so it's a different market. and. I think people will be tuning in to watch him after this one, especially in Gegar Masasi. He's a good name to get that off. He comes in here and steals the show. Everyone like, oh, this guy is the real deal. Do you know what I mean? So it'll be interesting. we got to look at MVP now in the co-main event. Like, we saw the, even the reception here at the weigh-in today. Yeah. It's a huge, huge crowd yeah. in London. A, a lot of people love watching this guy fight. Like, yeah. He really showcases striking ability. What do you think of him? You know, um, A lot of people feel like he, he's been waiting for that big step up in a, for a test like Rickles. Rickles has fought for titles before yeah. Bellator. He's nearly fought 20 times for the promotion. Yeah. I think this is like the step up. Like yeah. if, he, if he wins this fight, I can see him in, into the actual welterweight title picture yeah. with this. I think he, th this guy is like the, the caveman. He's the longest belt or fighter on the roster. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he's signed the longest out of anyone. So he is, but I'm a... It's a big. I think it's a big step up for him as well, coming over here and onto a big show like this. You know what I mean? It's uh, that's a step up for him. But I think I don't think he's going to get close to MVP. He needs that. He, he's not like he needs to get tight and he needs to pin you against the fence and he's that kind of grinder out Do you know what I mean? He is exciting and explosive as well. But and he puts on a show. Do you know what I mean? He's flamboyant and does the same things, kind of similar thing to MVP. But. MVP's timing and his reading of distance, you know, everyone thinks he comes out and like, oh, he does the flashy shit, do you know what I mean? But the, the way he sets that up from the footwork to the timing to get you thinking about something else, just to set you up so he can land that one shot, do you know what I mean? That's that's what he is, he's a, it's like that karate kind of style, it's one shot kill, do you know what I mean? And he sets you up, he does all this stuff and it's, everyone thinks he's just, showboating he isn't he's been smart he's like clued in he knows where your feet are he knows exactly where you are and what times he's trying to like cut you off to get you into a position where he can set you up to land that strike do you know what i mean and that's what he does he's the best at it in the in the division you can see the style and he showboats to get you like over commit and then you over commit and then clip you hit the deck do you know what i mean so that's that's what i can see him he's going to come in here tomorrow night and he's going to keep your man guessing he's going to chop him up a little bit hit him a few strikes slap him around he'll get your man angry aggressive draw him on then crack him and he'll pin him away i think it'll be a highlight real finish for mvp it's it's one of those things that everybody was kind of talking about the paul daly fight coming into this paul daly seems to want that fight now before he was saying i don't really know do you think if mvp wins that's a fight that bellator will look to set up 100 percent. bring it back here do you know what i mean that's a perfect perfect fight for the, uk yeah do you know what i mean if they want to that's the one they should get a TV deal for that. Do you know what I mean? Get a TV deal, put MVP versus Paul Dilly main event, put me co main event. <laughs> we'll we'll, be, you know we'll talk I mean? more about that, that yeah. deal later on yeah. because, of course, this one is live. But I've got to ask you about Aaron Chalmers. This guy is massively inflammatory. You know, people, people don't really like the fact that he's been given opportunities because of his uh, reality TV celebrity, but he has gone in and beaten everybody he's been put in against. What, what do you think of this guy? Do you, do you uh, like what he's doing? Do you, do you think it's right to be using a celebrity to make inroads into the game like he is? Yeah, well, if you look at... I've known a bit of respect for him, so I don't for what he's done. If you look at like what he's done, he's he's good. He's money. He can, he's got other things going on, and he's good. No, he's, he's set up in life. Do you know what I mean? He's not fighting for money or... He is obviously fighting for money and stuff as well, but he just dropped all this stuff, this lifestyle that he has gone on to come back and live a fighter's lifestyle, which is hard. It's not easy. Do you know what I mean? It's a grind. It's when he could be living easy. He could be living good and just living an easy life. But he hasn't. He's dropped all that. He's come back, dedicated his life to fighting. 
do you know what I mean? He's put that hard work in, he's put in the graft, and he doesn't have to. Do you know what I mean? I have nothing but respect for that. That's a man who's driven and loves loves martial arts. Do you know what I mean? He, he's a very, he's a martial artist. That's what I see him as. And everyone, he, he's a celebrity, but he's also a martial artist because I haven't seen any celebrities come over, cross over the board, drop this good life that they've got and get into the grind and, and grind it out and become good very fast in a short period of time. My hat's off to him. He's a fighter. He's fought guys, all the guys he's fought so far were all making their professional debuts. A lot of people seem to think that, you know, this isn't a step up in opposition, but I completely disagree. This guy has fought, you know, 10, I think he's fought about 10 times. I know he has a losing record, but that experience in there is, you know, it's worth its weight in gold. He's coming for a scrap. This guy's coming to pit the fight on him. So he's the rest of this. But you have to look at it. Arm is going, Arm's a beginner. Do you know what I mean? He's only young in the sport. He's starting out. Do you know what I mean? He's so why he can't? He, what do you want him to jump in at the highest level? That's not fair. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? You can't do that. Like he goes, he you think he, people want to see him against a ten and zero prospect yeah, like in his first fight? That's stupid. Do you know what I mean? That's that's not smart. Do you know what I mean? You go in against someone at your own level, a beginner level. He got one. His last one maybe should have been a step up an opponent, but it was the same kind of guys. But now this one's a step up. Do you know what I mean this guy's been in there? He's fought and he's. They're already buying, you know what I mean? He's going to at least put a bit of pressure on him. He's going to have some skills. He is, he is a, he's a good striker as well and stuff. And that if he clips you, he'll knock, he'll knock Aaron out if he clips him. But I, I think Aaron's going to come in and he's going to uh, show off his stand-up. And then I can see him taking him down. So I can, I can see Aaron taking him down, showing off. His this guy was a K-1 fighter as well. He has a K-1 history. You think we, we probably see more of... Uh, Aaron's ground game. Yeah, 100%. But I can't see this guy out striking him, Aaron, either. But it'll be a lot tougher than any of the rest of them. He's going to have to show that he's going to have to get his fight IQ on. He's going to have to cut this guy off. He's going to have to put him into traps. He's going to have to set up things. And it's going to be a different experience for him than we've seen before because at the start, he's just come out and, like, blitzed the guy. No, he's just either knocked him out. He's either just caught him in submission in his debut. He has never really got into that later kind of a fight where he's had to think and like be crafty and cut the guys off and and use like kind of fight IQ to get the guy to where he wants. Do you know what I yeah, mean? No, so I think he's going to have to do that in this one, and it's going to be very interesting to uh, see him do this with an opponent whose game, who's going to be always there, who's always going to be pushing. He's not going to give up. He's not going to quit. He's going to be in his face. He's going to come to fight. He's not the technicalist of fighters or anything, or, or the best by, by means, but he's going to be here for a fight, and he's going to be here to put Aaron away, and that's good, but I think Aaron's going to be, I think he'll be able to switch it up, and I think he will be able to use his fight IQ and get the fight to where he wants it, and I think he'll take him down, and I think he'll get a submission. Well, just to be interesting, I'll pick Ash Griffiths then, I think. Yeah. You know, he, he is the experience in there. I'd like to see yeah. him kind of, I'd like to see him put an Aaron in places we haven't seen him before. Yeah. So maybe put him on his I back. That will happen. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so as well. But um, I've got to ask you about the TV deal here. This is going to be live in the UK. A guy like you has such a strong fan base in Ireland. Is this something that you would like to see uh, brought out across the board? I know we found out within an hour of your Madison Square yeah. Garden fight that it was going to be live. And, and you could just see the traction yeah. online, the fans engaging yeah. with it. Is, is this important, do you think, for, for Bellator or like to, to compete with the UFC in this market? 100%. I was cracking up in New York, so I was, I was like, I'm not fucking fighting. Like, I need to get this live somewhere. I need, like, my father to see it. So I was like, I'm not fighting unless we get my father to watch this fight. Do you know what I mean? That's the way it was happening. And then the next minute, I went on my phone, there's bang, now it's on live. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So that was brilliant. That was that was good to see. And, but we need it. It's not like the, you know what I mean? It needs to happen. It's a must. It's not like... It's not like, ah, oh, that might happen down the line. They, they need to get it done. Do you know what I mean? Now. It, it would help for fighters, like sponsorship as well, obviously. Everything. Yeah. Everything. It helps with everything. It needs to be on live TV. It can't be repeated. It can't be. It needs to be live. Like, they need to get it done. Live TV, Channel 5, whatever they wanted. It needs to be live. And just someone can click the remote and have it on. Do you know what I mean? If people can't see, then... How do they expect the crowds? How do they expect the numbers? I know, like, I'm still getting good numbers and stuff, but if I get on live TV more frequently, the numbers are going to get even bigger each time. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm just boasting, like, my balls, like, trying to fucking promote myself and stuff like this here, and Belter helped me promote and stuff. And it is good, and I'm getting to a level, but to get that next level, I need live TV, especially back home in Ireland and here in the UK. I need the live TV to get to that next level. 
I've got to ask you about your two teammates on the card, Pedro uh, Carvalho's fighting Daniel Crawford, a guy who actually called out you as soon as he signed with the promotion. I asked for him on this show. Really, yeah? I asked for him. I thought it was Barks you were after, no? It's no, I asked for uh, Crawford for this show. So I did. Do, you, do you think he's looking at this like he beats our teammate, hope, hoping to set up a date with you? Let's do If that's what he wants, that's a good fight. Is, is it going to be tough to get through Carvalho, though? Yeah, oh yeah, big time. Pedro is an animal. So it is. I think Pedro is going. I think Pedro will do him. I think there's no problem about that. So it is. Uh, Daniel's very good as well. Good, good kind of in and out striking, scrambly jiu jitsu. I didn't see much of his wrestling, so I haven't. But he's a very good fighter, beatable in areas. And uh, I think Pedro's that bad stylistic matchup. And I think Pedro will run through him. To be honest. And just obviously Charlie Ward, he had, a, he had a late replacement. We only found out this morning he was meant to fight Louis King. Louis King had to be pulled from the fight because of mumps, obviously very contagious, yeah. couldn't have him in there. And he's been replaced by Man Time Hudson, I believe. Yeah. What a name. But um, who, what do you think of Charlie? Like, I mean, Charlie obviously brings a lot of attention yeah. into fights, but, you know, there's a lot of rumours going around that a, a certain notorious teammate of yours might be in the yeah. building tomorrow. I mean, how do you think Charlie's going to get on with the Bellator brand? Uh, Charlie get on brilliant. Charlie's he's an animal, you know what I mean? He's a Charlie get on good anywhere. He can grit down and have a bang, do you know what I mean? He's a fighter's fighter. He'll he'll make it he'll give anyone a good scrap, do you know what I mean? And that's just how how it is. If he catches you, he'll knock you out. Do you know what I mean? He's strong, grits down, can take a smack, can give a better one. Do you know what I mean? He's just that kind of dogged style and he'll keep going forward, keep pushing forward, do you know what I mean? he's hard to put away and stuff. So I'm uh, I'm not too sure of the guy he was fighting. I was watching his last, the last guy that he was fighting. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. So it, was, and I was, it was short notice. Yeah. I can't expect you to be able to do yeah, that. You know yeah, what I mean? So it was then. I just, I didn't know that until this morning. I didn't know that that uh, his opponent was changed. But I'm looking forward. Charlie will be there. He's ready. He's in shape, and I can see him marching forward and just throwing bombs. So it is. And if one of them connects, the guy's gone down. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know the guy's skill set. I don't know where he's good at and stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow night. Just finally, James, when would you like to get back in? You know, you, you told us that, you know, you want to get back in soon, but is there any date you have in mind? Definitely that Dublin is happening at the end of the year. That's a fact. That's Go gone. On, break some news. Break some so news. it is, but I've maybe one before that right, yeah. in September. So it is. You so want to headline that show, obviously, uh, 100%, after? 100%. That's, that's happening. So it is, but just finalised dates, and I'm not too sure about all that stuff yet. That you heard it here first. <laughs> James Gallagher headlining in Dublin. Uh, that'll definitely happen in the, by the end of the year. But I'd say one first, maybe September time, in the state sides maybe. So the minute I'm just training, so I was just getting fit, getting healthy, keep working on my skill set, and then that'll all look after itself. Tim and the boys there can, can look after the rest for me, and I'll just focus on training. Thanks very much, James. That was brilliant. Thanks for joining me. You carried me through that one. All the best. Thanks very much.